Hello, wonderful people and dear friends of Moments with Pastor Finke. It's great to have you join us in this new episode that I'm calling Taking Tough Decisions. I'm sure you'll be blessed. Welcome. So I was thinking about how our lives move in the direction of our decisions and just how important the decisions we take today will affect our future. Of course, not all the decisions we take have the ability to change destinies, no. However, there are some decisions we take that have the power to either move us forward or take us backwards and completely out of contention for the crown. Those are the tough decisions of life and we all have to make them sooner or later in life. You see, two prostitutes came before King Solomon because they both had newborn sons and one of their sons had died during the night. We know that the woman whose son had died exchanged her dead son with the living son of her roommate whilst the other woman slept. As the babies were newborn babies, it was difficult to tell who the living baby belonged to. The king was in dire straits as to what to do. Let's read about the decision he took from 1 Kings 3 verse 23. Then said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. They brought a sword before the king, and the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one, and half to the other. Friends, if anything qualifies as a tough decision, this one would be number one. On the surface, it sounded like the pronouncement of a madman. First, there were two living babies and one died. Now the king had decided that the only living one be killed and shared amongst the two women? Madness, or was it? You see, King Solomon knew that the real mother of the living boy could never stand to see her son killed and would instead give him up happily. And that's exactly what happened. Now, once the truth was discovered, the mother received her son back alive. You see, friends, the best decisions taken in tough situations will always have God's wisdom in play and will be based on righteousness. What Solomon was trying to get out was who was right. The best decision always aimed to do the right thing, to determine the right and wrong and to enthrone righteousness. Oftentimes, tough decisions will have the greater good of the people than the self-interests of the few, though powerful. Tough decisions may set one at the crosshairs of those who think they are above everybody else and only their opinions matter. David once had a tough decision to make. He was at the time running from Saul the king who chased him around looking to kill him. At this time David was hiding in a cave which was the very same one Saul chose to go into when he needed to relieve himself. With David's, Saul's back turned to him, David crept behind him and cut out a piece of his cloak. David had the opportunity to kill Saul, his enemy, but chose instead to withhold his hand from taking his life. It must have been a tough decision for him. After all, hadn't he been anointed by Samuel to take over as king? Wasn't Saul also trying to kill him? Then his men were encouraging him to end it and stop the running around from cave to cave. But doing so would have been the easy way out, and God would have judged him harshly for it. See, taking tough decisions may mean you sacrifice your desires to honor God and his word. But you will be justified and rewarded later, as David was when he eventually became king. Friends, are you at a crossroad now where you need to take a difficult decision? Allow God and his wisdom to guide you, and soon you will be on your smooth way forward. Never ever take a decision that goes against God's word and is pleasing to you but not to him. Thank you dear friends for joining us in this episode. Until next week when we come your way again by God's grace, don't forget to like and share this video. Also, follow me on YouTube and click the notification button. As always, I'm your host, Pastor Finke. May the God bless you and keep you. Bye for now and see you later.